Hello everyone, my name is David Sa. Welcome back to the channel where we inspire people to find their true power and identity through the art of posing, photography, and storytelling. It's common to think that posing is only for models, influencers, or Gen Zs, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Posing is for everyone, and believe me, the king of poses that other people have named, posing extends way beyond the technicals. It goes way beyond the, the one, to poses that we've memorized for photos. It goes way beyond into our emotions and who we are. I gave this presentation at L'Oreal that really showcases the transformative power of posing, posing as body language. If you want to redefine what posing means for you so that you can pose anywhere, anytime you want, and two, also incorporate posing as a larger than life aspect so you can walk and talk confidently wherever you go watch this following presentation it is 30 minutes it's a little bit longer but put it on i promise you it will be amazing please welcome <laughs> david sir Shout out if you're ready. Say ready. ready. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh, everyone, my name is David Saw. I am known as the king of poses online. Have you ever seen me online on the interwebs? Ooh. Couple, couple. Okay, okay. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what is a king of pose. You got kings and queens of everything these days. Um, so it's a lot of it's a lot of this. It's a lot of this, a lot of this. <laughs> so besides being a king of pose, I also am a portrait photographer, I'm a content creator, I'm an educator. I teach people how to be the best versions of themselves, both on camera and off camera. Now, taking a photo of someone is actually pretty easy. Because I mean, at the end of the day, we have to just take out our phone, point it at someone, and then click the button. But Helping others bring out their biggest confidence in front of the camera, I would say is infinitely harder. Now, it was really hard for me to achieve this to be able to do it every single time for whoever I work with. And I realized the best way I could do that for myself was to help myself first. There's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, David from 12 years ago. Shy, trying to be the class clown. Didn't know how to be in front of the camera, so I would just kind of hide behind silly expressions. And then here's a portrait I've taken of me at the end of last year. It was a passion project of mine to bring out my 2023 vision board and then turn it into one photo that represented that. A vision board that said, I'm grounded in my values. I'm patient, I'm kind, but at the same time, I'm gonna shoot for bigger success this year while being a sexy-ass Asian man. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, as I... <laughs> Maybe a little more chuckles here and then thank you. <laughs> um, as I did this for myself, as I found confidence for myself, and how can I show up for myself in front of the camera, I started to do this for others. And these are some of my clients that I get to do this for. And the joy of doing this for other people always fulfills me. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and today, um, I want to do this for you. Mm. Poses for you, poses for you, poses for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this crowd, I love this crowd so much. <laughs> love you, L'Oreal. Um, and, you know, I want to Gave you the poses like I mentioned, but I feel like before we do that, I need to gauge the room a little bit first. Let's rank our posing skills, right? If level one is, David, I'd rather be at the dentist than in front of the camera. I turn invisible, I just freeze up, I'm like this, I don't know, right? And then here at level five is you're a king, 
queen royalty of poses, <laughs> right? So, show of hands, uh, level one. Again, we start somewhere, right? Oh, okay, okay. I'm scared now. Maybe everyone's too advanced for me. Maybe I should just. <laughs> okay, we have a couple level ones. Level two. You know, maybe a pose or two. Okay, okay. Well, we got a lot more hands. We got a lot more hands. Level three. You know, a couple more poses. Okay, we know how to be in front of the camera. You will get the job done. All right. Level four. Oh, we got some in the back. All right. Wait, okay, level five. There's only room for one. The, the king of poses. Oh. Sorry. oh. You want to share the stage with me, please? Sure. <laughs> in a bit, in a bit, in a bit. <laughs> She's like, yes, I'm ready. I'm going to teach this. Um, so it seems like, I thought there would be more level ones, but okay. We got some more level twos and level threes. Does it sound like the majority of us, we say, hmm, I'm not the most confident from the camera, but I'm also not the most awkward, the most, ner most nervous. Yeah. I wish I could do a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But what if I told you that you already are a master of posing? Mm -hmm. I know, I know, it's, uh, you're like, mm, I don't know about that, I don't know about that. Because if I'm trying to convince you that you've been a master at this thing, I need to convince you first, right? So let's define and find common ground in the definition of posing. I mean, what if we have a different definition, right? Cooking to you might be that like you actually leave the house buy groceries, come back, chop it up, toss it in the pan, plate it, when my definition is just You know, and then it's microwave food. I want to be a master at what you do, not my definition of cooking, right? So let's define posing. Google's definition of posing is to assume a particular attitude or position in order to be photographed, painted, or drawn. Do I agree with this? We'll find out in a second. Uh, let's put this Google definition of posing into social context. Who might we think about when we think about this definition of posing? Who? Okay, all, all right, this is interactive, I love this. <laughs> um, you beat me to it, right? We have models, maybe celebrities, actors, actresses, maybe Gen Zs, maybe millennials, right? When will we see these people do poses? It might be at photo shoots, runways, gallons, or maybe it's just outside. You see all the cute teens with cute outfits, taking selfies. We call it outfit pics today, right? OTD. Hopefully everyone gets cute outfit photos today. And what do these poses look like? Maybe you've seen some people pose like this. Does anyone's go-to pose like this? Yes, yes. No, I do this all the time too. Yes, yes. I mean, no shade to Taylor. Taylor, if you need my help, just call me. <laughs> but, I mean, is there, is there something wrong with this definition of posing? If we think about it, what is, no personality, okay. Something about this doesn't seem organic, right? Something feels formulaic. And if we think about it, I mean, someone said, the moment I said, who does these poses? Models, right? It doesn't feel accessible, right? Have we ever had that thought of, oh, I'm not photogenic, like my friend here, or my family member here? So I, I'm, no, that's not for me. I can't be in front of the camera. Why are you so good at it? I'm not born with it, right? Maybe you haven't said it yourself. Maybe your peers have. But I'm sure we've all heard of that somewhere, right? I didn't like that definition. As the king of pose, I said, I will come up with a new definition. I said, posing is a way of communicating with our bodies. Posing is body language. Posing is a way to express who we are. Doesn't something sound a little bit more accessible? A little bit more sustainable? More organic? Just the way we like it in California? <laughs> in New York too, where's the New York crowd? There's a lot of people from New York. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just the way we like it in California, right? On the Google side of things, it's almost like the canned poses I talked about earlier on. Something about this. Oh, yeah, we have to look taller. We have to look blank. We have to do this. But when we go to this new adapted definition of posing, a way to be, a way to communicate, something is very freeing about that. We can be 
who we are without assuming an attitude or a position. Which brings me to my next question of what was our first language? For me, I grew up in Korea. Korean was my first language. But wait, maybe it wasn't Korean because I didn't come into this earth speaking Korean. I spoke body language. I didn't know what I was saying, but I said, I need something. And somehow, this became this, to this, to what's up, brother? Right? Somehow it has evolved. We've been speaking this language our entire lives. Therefore, it's almost like we've been posing our entire lives. Therefore, you're a master of poses. Right. I know. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> not done yet, not done yet. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, I've connected some of the dots for you, right? But it's not like you're leaving here changed and evolved and inspired. So, here's the part. I mean, if you, had, if you, if you tuned out the first part, this, please listen to, because this is where is so fascinating. When we see posing as language, people who hear about me for the first time, they're like, you just teach people to look cute all the time? I mean, yes, slay, right? <laughs> but, I mean, I, I don't do this for a living just to make people look cute. There's so much deeper meaning to this, right? Language, there's a whole study on languages. When we see it that way, we're just reaching the tip of the iceberg. If we think about what is the primary purpose of language facilitates communication. Transmit information from one person to the other. Somehow, when we didn't go to school, we've become very good at speaking this language of body language. I went to Korean school every Saturday, and it's at first grader level best. I learned Mandarin for nine years. I just you know, ni hao, waini. Uh, hi, I love you. I do, I do. Um, but somehow, again, we didn't go to school, and then we, we just become really good at using our body language. And think about this with me. We've also become really good listeners of this language. Let's say you're at home, you've invited your niece over, and you're looking for, where did she go? You find her in the corner, shivering, crawled up. You know what to do. You gotta run over, give her a hug, and say, what's wrong? She doesn't need to say anything. Let's say on the other end, you're outside walking, and there's this there's this guy just, Aah! I mean, who knows? He might be a zombie at this point. <laughs> there, who knows? Who knows, right? I mean, but I'm not going to go there and give him a hug. Maybe I'll go across the street. If I really want to help, I'll call someone, right? But he also doesn't need to say anything to us for us to understand that and listen to that, and listen to his body language. So we think about where we developed this language, it might be from our family, our social surroundings. Maybe it's on the television, TV shows, movies, Hollywood. Growing up in Korea, I remember watching Jaws for the first time. So scary. When I was in elementary school, we would play Jaws, going to a swimming class with my friends. You know, someone would be Jaws, and be like, ah! you know, we would reenact it, right? Then we'd also watch Indiana Jones. You know, we all do <laughs> you know? But something about this was cool. He said, yes, that's cool. I learned about like, Western and how they move. Right? Maybe it's culture. Again, growing up in Korea, we bow all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, high. I moved to America when I was 19, and I still have the habit. I can't let it go. It's the funniest thing whenever I say thank you to my clients. They're just like, they don't know what to do. Just. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks, thanks. Here's, here's your money. I'm like, oh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's my, that's my issue. Sorry, I should have adapted, right? <laughs> uh, so it's almost like it's language is a part of me. I'm communicating who I am. It doesn't seem like the only purpose of language is to give and trade information, to transmit information, because it's not. That's not the only purpose of language. We use language to express. We use language to express our beliefs, our desires, our emotions, perspectives, and ideas. It's like we're expressing who we are. An example I like to bring up to show the power of language, especially body language, 
and making sure we can express ourselves is Superman. Anyone love Superman, comic book people? Yes, 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 yes. I didn't like Superman before. Please don't come at me. Some of them hate. <laughs> Look, okay, I grew up in Korea. We, we like Batman more. Yeah. Superman wasn't a big thing. I mean, I like him now. Don't, don't come at me, right? But when I came over, I, was, I, I, I had this big gripe with him. I'd say, why can people not tell the difference between Superman and Clark Kent? What's up with that? So I did some digging. I had Google. As a freshman in college, I, I, midnight, I just Googled this. Why is Superman not getting recognized? <laughs> and I, I went to Quora and everything. And then apparently, when he puts on the glasses, you know, because he's alien, he's not from Earth, he can like send out some frequencies through the lens, and then people like, can't recognize him. I know, I know. It's, it's like, hmm. They kind of just made that up too much. What I like to believe is that Superman actually is one of the best method actors. I mean, okay, iconic duo here, right? Clark Kent, Lois Lane. There's this one scene I wish I could play for you, but I'm just gonna reenact it for you. What's going on here? Lois Lane, the love of Clark Kent. She has a gun. She has it pointed at Clark Kent. Why? She is so convicted that Clark Kent is Superman that she is going to go to the lengths of pointing a gun at him and saying, I believe you are going to catch it and not die. And then look, at, look at his eyes. That is not a man who's saying, I am impenetrable to bullets. <laughs> look at that. He's scared out of his mind. Clark, I know you're Superman, so I'm going to shoot you with this gun, Lois. I, I told you I'm not Superman. You're making a great mistake. Bang! Ah! And he literally stands up. This is what happens. He stands up like this. His whole posture changes. His voice changes, actually. The first thing he says to Lois is, Lois, if you were wrong, you would have killed a man today. And then you see Lois there. She's like, oh, I am right. <laughs> I, love I shot a blank at you. I fooled you. So if you actually think about Clark, it, it, when you watch Superman, I mean, we're always fixated on Superman, right? Not Clark Kent. But if you actually watch Clark, he's just a nine to five reporter. And Clark is someone who, again, doesn't think he's impenetrable to bullets. In fact, he doesn't like conflict. Have you heard of the saying of what your value is is what you think? What you think is what you say and do. And that's what's happening here. You saw it in his eyes. Let's imagine this. Let's see he's going to work. He's got a briefcase on. He's got a bunch of files here. Maybe he's picking up coffees for some people in the office. He's moving through people saying, he's late. I'm sorry. Can you get that door for me? Yes. Oh. And he trips. Oh, the coffee. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. He's not, he's, he's not looking at people and saying, oh, I'm trying to fix up all this stuff. I'm sorry. But if we think about Superman, he walks differently. His posture is different. The way he talks is different. His chin is up. He's making sure he can see everyone so that they're safe. He's not running away from conflict. He's the first one there. So somehow, this one person has two separate identities. And everyone believes it because of his language. And you might not believe it, but we have something in common with Superman. But before I get to that, we do have a very big difference. We don't have to live a double life. I mean, if you do live a double life, that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Can you tell me afterwards in the back room? I'll keep it shut. Right? But think about living a double life like Superman. How exhausting that would be. Changing your whole belief system so you act differently and you're talking different. That is too exhausting. Which brings me to our similarity with Superman. And it's that you are super. Oh, I actually got some yeses. I was like, this is very cheesy. <laughs> this is very, you're laughing at the phone. You're like, oh, I thought we were going to laugh at this one. Uh, no, it, it is really cheesy. But here's the thing. L'Oreal sent me a sheet that had 100 20 names. Every single one of you. You have artists, 
ambassadors. But beyond that, we have business owners, entrepreneurs, influencers, coaches, leaders. And you're telling me you're not super. Every day you have to show up whether you like it or not. You won't be in this room if you didn't show up every day. Whether it's bad, whether it's good, you get out of bed, you do it for yourself, you do it for your staff, you do it for your community, you do it for your family. When you serve your client, you don't second guess how are you gonna take care of them. When you're having your meeting with your team, you don't second guess how you're gonna inspire them. Because you showed up every single day, it's not easy. And you crafted this amazing person that you are, the super person that you are. But why is it that when we're in front of the camera, we bring out this other identity? It's almost like, I was supposed to put this on earlier on, it's almost it's supposed to be dramatic and stuff, taking it off. <laughs> it's, it's almost like, it's almost like, it's almost like the glasses for Clark Kent is the camera for us. It's bringing our Clark Kent out. I don't want this to happen anymore. And instead of talking to you about how to not bring out Clark Kent in front of the camera, I thought maybe I'll demonstrate it for you. And this is all about body language after all, right? But not me. I want to bring up one of you guys so everyone else can see. Right? So other people, the ones and the twos. Can you raise your hand up again? Who wants to participate? Wow, what happened to this engagement earlier on? Come on, can I bring you up? Come on up, come on up. I swear there were a lot more ones and twos. All of a sudden, everyone's fives. Come on up, come on up. Hi, uh, what's your name? Joey. Joey. Joey, what do you do? I'm a hairdresser. Hairdresser. Bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. How do, you, how do you feel right now? Do you feel like Clark Kent or Superman? A little, a little, no. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is the same space. Come up, come up. You want to come up here real quick? Now that she said that, a little 50 50. <laughs> little 50 50. Oh, whoa! Let me bring the glasses back. Okay. Um, let's stand up. Let's stand up. Let's break out this part. Can. Stand up with me. I charge for that. Maybe we need to replace you with someone else. Look, <laughs> oh, he looks so good. Um, okay, face me real quick. Okay, we got a little walk and we got to go around and come back around. But I want to imagine this space as your studio, where you do your crafts. Okay. I'm going to take one step back. There we go. And imagine me as your mirror, do a little wave. Perfect. Okay. I turn around this way. And. Woo! <laughs> You're right, sorry, you need to pay for this, you need to pay for this. <laughs> Joey, you're making this too difficult. <laughs> Let's pay attention here, everyone. We are. We are. <laughs> it should have worn red. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's take a walk here. This is your studio. You want to make sure you walk with confidence? I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna go around this way, you go around this way, we're gonna meet over, over at the center again. Yeah. Oh, this way. Go around. This is your studio. Just walk it out. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's move here a little bit this, uh, this time. I'm your client. And this is your studio door. Let's bring this back a little bit. Um, you're gonna sit me down and then say, okay, how can I help you? All right. Have a seat. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. How's your hair? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I, I don't know. I just never liked my hair. Am I making you nervous? No, no. It's just I, I want to make sure. Oh, please. I, wanna, I have a big event next week. Okay. Um, I never felt like I had a hairdresser who took care of me in making sure I had a haircut that represented me. Okay. Yeah. So what do you not want me to do? I don't even know how to like communicate that. It's just all I've seen is like bad haircuts where I don't like it. You, what do you, and so when you look in the mirror now, 
what do you, is there anything? Wait, can we stop real quick? Don't move, don't move. Bring it back. Mm -hmm. Bring the hand back. Okay, here's the thing. Can you rotate just a little bit? This way, towards the crowd? Can we try to remember what Joey looked like when he first sat? Does he feel more superhero or more like Clark Kent? <laughs> you can bring it back down. Tell me more. <laughs> and the thing is, the thing is, I didn't do anything. I didn't move you. I didn't pose you. I didn't say, "All right, Joey, let's show it off." Right? You just were you. Just the same way you would treat any other client, right? It's almost like we kind of unlocked something. I just gave you a space and said, "You can be yourself." You have the permission to just be yourself. Right? So let's do something here. I feel like you already have sort of ninety percent of this because you already are a master of posing, of this body language which is yours. But maybe I'll help you sort of refine that last ten percent to show what you want, so you can be heard in the way you want to be heard, right? What is it that you want to say, right? If you were to see a picture of yourself, what are some words that you want to see in that picture. <clears throat> I want to see a reaction out of someone. Okay, you want to see a reaction. What are some other adjectives that you want them to feel? I want them to feel comfortable. Okay. I want them to feel happy. Yeah. And I want them to feel um, confident. Amazing. Um, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna have you stay right there. Okay. And everyone, Watch as we have a live transformation of Joey. Right? Let's stand up. Right? I'm gonna have you get this synchronized here. I'm gonna have you move this arm with me at the same pace as me. Bring the wrist up and slowly bring it back down. Let me have you bring back the feet together. Okay. Let's go for a little seat this time. If you can actually bring the chair back just a tiny bit. Do you have a slide that you prefer? If you like have your selfie camera up, is there a side you typically go towards this way? Yeah, okay. I think all sides, are all sides are beautiful, but we have our preferences. There we go, there we go. Are we sure we are level one and level two again? Okay. That's, we... my, that's all I got. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Okay, again, let's do hands over here. I'm your mirror. All right. Let's turn this table, I mean this chair just a little bit aside here. We're gonna sit. I'm gonna have you scoop just a little bit towards the edge here. It's a little slippery of a chair. Let's go for a little lean here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have you sit a little bit more out. Relax into the shoulder just a touch. That looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna have you go for a little. I'm gonna have you go for a little leg up here. If you can. Or the other way. There you go. go for a little lean. Perfect. I'm gonna have you go for the side over here. Nose around a little this way. I'm gonna have your eyes on my shoes real quick. And then, could you just rotate just a tiny bit around? Still eyes on my shoe. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> and then eyes back up to me. And that's the shot right there. <laughs> Do you see comfortable, confident? What was the last word? Comfortable, confident, happy. Give us a big jolly smile. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> thank you, Joey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. How was that? That was good. Good? Do we want to see one more example? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, I need participants, don't yes. Joe Blackwell. Uh, one, ones and twos, one more time. Yeah, she's a five. Okay, we're, we're I know, I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll bring you up last to show, show you. I should say that. Um, I mean, there's a lot of like, point. <laughs> your friend is like, please, please, get her up there. She needs help. Nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Natalie. Natalie, okay. Beautiful outfit. Oh, thank you. Whoa. What do you do, Natalie? Um, I'm an ambassador, so I do TikTok. Okay. Instagram. Amazing. And hair, obviously, yeah. Hey, where do you rank yourself in the one to five? Oh, like a one, two. Okay, one, two. Why do you say that? I know how to stand up straight. Yeah, which is great. And I know my good side. Okay, which is side? 
Um, this side. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> when you take photos, same question for Joy to you. What do you want people to feel? What do you want them to see? That I want them to see that I'm an open table. They can talk to me about anything. Open they can table. feel comfortable. Welcoming, comfortable. They know that I'm going to give them a good service or do whatever they want yeah. because I want the best for them. I want them to see that. Yeah. So professional, welcoming. Let's also talk about, we're going to introduce one more concept into posing. Is there things that you want to show off more of you, your body, and then other things that you might be a little bit more conscious about? Oh yeah, hide my arms. Hide your arms. Suck in my stomach. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. Um, could you give us a sample pose? Let's say I was taking a photo of you, Natalie. Yeah. Natalie, let me get a quick photo of you. Hit me with your like typical pose. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Woo! All right. Let's do this. What are we giving again? Welcoming, professional, confident, fun. Fun. Okay. Fun. <laughs> that was a little switch up. Well, Okay, well, I will, we'll, we'll toss the fun in here. Okay. Let's turn it around boring. like this. No, no boring. Yeah, no boring now as well. Let's turn the chair around like this, towards me. Beautiful. Okay. Wave me down here, like a yoga class. Perfect. Up with me again. Over here. Over here. Over here. Hey, okay. All right, all right. You got it, you got it, you got it. Um, let's go for a little seat over here. Beautiful. Fine. Right. Let's go for, actually, this leg. Can we go over here? Ooh, okay. Show off the shoes a little bit. Can we, <laughs> can we bring the shoe out this way just a little bit? What do you mean out? Just a little bit here. Can we a little, little peep of the shoe? Yeah. There we go. Hands like this. Little knee. Perfect. This hand over here. Bring it up just a touch. Let's go for the big elbows here. So open it up this way. Perfect. Go for the little knee. Yes. Let's go for actually elbow up here. I'm gonna have you head tilt this way. Lift this hand. I'm gonna have you start from this brow over here and just slowly move it with me as if you're having some new hair. Okay, she's feeling it already. <laughs> Look at that. Eyes to my shoes again. Beautiful. And move the brow one more time. Stay with it. And the eyes to me. Let's go for a little necklace touch too. Just make sure it's there. Perfect. Looks good. And that's it. it looks good? Yeah. 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 And see. <laughs> yes. So again, I didn't move Natalie, right? I refined some poses for her. She already had a way she communicates. She's a master of that already. Again, we've been showing up for ourselves every day. We don't second guess that. I also heard some woo when she hit that pose. She looked good, right? But I took and refined how she wanted to be heard. Right? It's not that it's a better pose. I just helped her refine the way she wanted to speak to you guys. She wanted fun, she wanted confident, she wanted professional, she wanted to be welcoming. You saw her laugh, you saw her be cool, confident. And that's the thing. I wish I had all the time to work with everyone individual here to help you refine your body language. I got time. Yeah. <laughs> Take a five. <laughs> but within the hour, hopefully I was able to unlock something in the back of your mind. Right? To show you that you already are a master of your own language. Because you know you know how much work you do every single day. So let's recap. What did we learn? Posing is body language. Body language helps us express who we are. And because of who we are, everyone in this room, you are super.
He's incredible. He is. If you're not following him, you must, 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 must on the must. gram and on TikTok. Uh, it, it's his name, D-A-V-I-D-S-U-H. He's uh, got quite the following. Yes. He's incredible. So thank you again, David. That was amazing.